I'm Daniel. I'm Jay-Z. And this is Just My DIY. If you're at that point in your crafting journey where you're considering buying a heat press, your first major decision is clamshell or swing away. So we're going to give thanks to Pro World for sponsoring this video and providing us earlier this year with TransPro Plus 1620 clamshell. And more recently sending us a 16 by 20 swinger. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of these two different styles of heat presses, as well as highlight some additional features that you should keep your eye out for when you go to make your purchase. Yeah, we're going to drop it like it's hot in here. <laughs> Here's our initial overview of the presses. We have a swing away and we have a clamshell. Both from the TransPro Plus line from Pro World. Now these are high-end presses and we can't wait to show you all the features throughout the video. But for a quick overview, both are 16 by 20. The clamshell has a nice slide-out platen as well as an auto open feature that we'll demonstrate later. And for the swing away, we have a nice sturdy base, a pressure handle for lowering, and a swing away handle for managing its movement. <laughs> So let's jump into the considerations. First is your available workspace. Uh, the clamshell heat press, you're never going to need more room to the left, right, front, or back. Once you have it set up, you're good. However, when the automatic timer on this thing goes off and it pops open, it reaches for the ceiling. <laughs> so definitely don't put a clamshell underneath a counter or something like that. Now with the swing away, it's going to need a lot of room behind and to the side, but it works uh, no height. <laughs> Absolutely. So you'll just want to keep that in consideration. You'll actually see that our clamshell stays in a dormer because it just needs that vertical space, whereas a swing away is going to have to stay on a table. Now we're going to move on to the second consideration, which is what materials you want to press. Uh, the swinger style is, well, both of these are going to excel really at doing garments, bags, totes, pillowcases, any of these thin materials, are, they're both going to work fabulous for. Where you start to see differences are on thick materials like this piece of wood. And we're going to demonstrate with the swing away because it has that pressure in the center. It comes down and provides even pressure front to back. With the clamshell, however, you can see that as we close it upon this piece of wood, it'll connect in the back first and then roll through the rest. And this makes a very uneven distribution of pressure. You can see us measuring it with our calipers here, showing there is actually two tenths of an inch of difference from front to back. And that difference is gonna depend on how thick of something you're trying to press, but really if you wanna press thick materials, a swing away is the way to go. And we're gonna demonstrate that here with a sublimation on this thick piece of wood using the swing away. So you can see again, that nice even pressure, which is definitely what you want for sublimation as well as HTVs as well. Like you want good adhesion front to back. And we'll show you after our little turkey, because this was filmed at Thanksgiving, how clean of a sublimation that was using a swing away on this thick piece of wood. Without that even pressure, all of these words would not have come out in their glorious brilliance. <laughs> now some additional features to look for. Now we would like to say we consider like our basic requirements Automatic timers. This one's activated by a magnet connecting a circuit that will start the countdown right now. Not all swing aways have an automatic timer, which is weird to us when we learned that, which is why we wanted to point it out. Also a basic necessity, pressure adjustment. Now this one has a pressure gauge on it that gives you a numeric value for how much you're squeezing. <laughs> but even without that, just the ability to adjust the pressure, like with the swing away, you get a feel for what's medium pressure, what's heavy pressure, and so forth. But some of those automatic presses that are out now don't allow you to do this, and that's just really challenging for us. And now, another basic is the garment pass-through feature. And this gives you the ability to slide on a t-shirt, tote, garments, uh, pillowcases, etc, etc, without it wrinkling or bunching up on top or having to work through multiple layers of fabric. Both of these have a nice deep pass-through on them, which is so helpful with those garments. So this for us would definitely be a basic necessity to have in any heat press that we get. 
Now with the swinger, the when you take some of them, you swing them all the way around without that huge sturdy base and the leg extenders, there's a huge tendency for tipping that you have to be super careful of. Because that's a big safety issue. We love these extra feet in the back to prevent that from happening. Also good is having that handle up high to keep your hands away from the heating element. Both of the heating elements get super hot and being able to manage them from not the element <laughs> is very important. Also important in keeping you away from the heat, especially with a clamshell, is how wide does it open and does it have a slide out platen? Because if it does, then your hands aren't as close to the heat and, and you can... Feel free to play the drums. <laughs> or just not burn yourself. <laughs> So this is an auto open feature on this timer, which we actually, this is the reason why we go to this one so often is we do not have to manage its oh. stopping process. Right, it'll just open for us, which is so nice to have. And that's a feature you find more so on clamshells and it's just so nice to have. And one you can deactivate on this one. Yes, yes, very true. Now we have interchangeable platens between the two of these. Which is something that is really unique to this TransPro Plus line with Pro World. So this gives you ability to put like thinner or differently shaped platens on there for working with things of challenge like a plastic zipper on a hoodie that you don't want to melt <laughs> in contact with the heating element. <laughs> It's amazing how often we reach for this interchangeable platen. You would think bigger is better, but sometimes smaller gets you closer to what you're trying to press, allows you to drape things off the side, and just really gives you a lot of flexibility. Now this one's technically their sleeve or leg platen. When here we are doing a sleeve of that same hoodie you just saw us doing the breast pocket on. Mm -hmm. And the Swing Away also has this, and because these are both from the Transpro Plus line, we're actually able to use the same platens on both of them, which is super nice. Um, but we'll show you another use case for this, which is... Using a little doggy t-shirt. <laughs> so you can also do onesies or baby shirts and stuff like that. So of course, a few seconds later, peel it off, and it does a great job. Yay! We hope this helped you really understand the differences between a clamshell heat press and one that swings. So if you've made a decision between the two, you should write it down in the comment line and of course give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and know that the links to everything we use are listed down in the description. Also in the description are links to all of our social handles. Please connect with us across platforms. We love hearing from you. And don't forget to check out our blog at JustMyDIY.com. Thanks for watching.